energy flows where attention goes. I'm gonna say it one more time. Energy flows where attention goes. This is one of my all time favorite quotes because it automatically stops you in your tracks and repositions you to focus on where your attention is at right now. All right, and welcome back. I'm Brienne, Master Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Universe. And today I wanna to unpack this quote for the sake of helping you redirect your attention into your Twin Flame Union, your abundance, whatever it is that your heart desires, and pointing that attention in the right place, all right? And you can ask yourself a few questions here. Well, first off, let's lay some groundwork, okay? And that being, if you're familiar with law of attraction, like attracts like, you know, manifestation, things of that nature, you know that we are energetic beings first. You see me, you can see you, we see each other, and we know that we are in a physical body, physical beings, but if you take it deeper, you are energy first. And that means that as an energetic being, you are investing your energy into many different places because you are powerful and you're divine and you have free will to do so. You can put your energy wherever you want to place it, all right? But the for the sake of this video, the purpose is to help you get clear on where you might be putting your energy that's not a wise investment, okay? And, you know, going back to your twin flame union, you wanna ask yourself a few things here, and is that, are you focused on separation or are you focused on union? And what I mean by that, like focusing on separation, are you constantly looking at the negative of your situation, meaning that, well, my twin flame is over there, maybe there's a third party situation, Maybe there's another person involved. Maybe they're married. You know, maybe uh, there's a runner chaser dynamic. Maybe there's um, a no contact happening right now with your twin flame. Do you find that your attention is constantly focused on those negative components? We call them negative, right? But it's really just things that are in need of healing. Are you constantly focused on those things or the truth? that you know in your heart and that you are created to be together and that your union is coming together, all right? It's perspective and what's actually happening here. Are you focused on the love that you share, the, uh, the deep, deep connection that is between the two of you and the vision that you have in your heart for your life together with your twin flame? Are you focused more on that, which is your union and you can just simply ask yourself right now, where is my attention going? And that is where you know the energy is flowing. And so clearly we don't want separation, we want to resolve separation. So if you find that you're focusing on the negative or the blocks more often than your union, then that's um, a place where you want to shore up your energy. And this doesn't mean disregard your feelings. That's not what this means at all. It does mean validate your feelings and respect your experience. You know, let's say if you're experiencing physical separation and you're like, this feels really bad. It feels painful. I feel hurt here and this is not okay. You're absolutely correct. Validate that. Respect how you feel. Feel through your feelings with the intentions of moving through it and coming to peace and coming back to the truth that you were not created to be separate. You were created in union and that is your natural state of being. There's a little feather that just floated across the screen. It's like a sign. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's a little, uh, little confirmation here, okay? So if you're focused on what doesn't feel good and you're staying focused in that, like you're sitting in it, right? You're like, constantly on that hamster wheel of, they're not with me, they're not with me, they're not with me. You know those thought patterns, we all experience it at some point. Or they're with another person, they're with another person, they're with another person. And you're not moving out of that, but you're, you're, you're remaining in it and you're stuck on it, like you're attached to it. That's how powerful you are. You're going to continue to fuel that uh, what you don't want. And know too, like this, this is not to 
Um, don't, don't dip into fear. Don't go, oh my God, you know, like now I must be fearful of, no, that's not what this is. It just, it's a gentle redirection. You can acknowledge, oh wow, crap. I have been doing that and uh, that doesn't feel good. I'd rather focus my attention on my union. So I choose to redirect my focus and put it back on what feels good to me. And you do that by acknowledging how you feel. You move through the feelings. You bring yourself to a place of peace. And what I utilize is the mirror exercise to do that. That's how I healed separation, physical separation from my twin flame. And many others that I know have done the same, my peers and such. And you can too. You just apply that mirror exercise to resolve the experience of separation in your mind and your heart. And then you naturally come to peace as a result of that. And that peace, that is your union. That's the natural state of your, your union is being in that peace and that harmony. So it's taking your energy from what you don't want and real, first off realizing that, oh, I'm putting it in the wrong place. You know, I'm, I'm investing it into the thing that actually doesn't serve me. Let me invest it into what does serve me and constantly pointing your attention into your union while you know the healing is happening, you know the challenges and the lessons are going to arise, having the intention to move through those and placing yourself back in your union, bringing yourself back to the truth, bring your, bringing yourself back into alignment with the reality, the true reality of your union. It's the same with your wealth and abundance. Let's say you, we all desire our wealth and abundance, right? But are you constantly focused on lack? Meaning like, well, I don't have enough money or I can't pay my bills. Or, you know, I desire this thing, but that's way too much money. And so are you sitting in that, right? Like, or are you moving through it with the intentions of, let me validate my feelings. Let me acknowledge that this doesn't feel good. But the truth of my being is that I'm divine and I'm naturally wealthy and abundant. And although I'm not experiencing that right now, I know that as I take my energy back from these thoughts of poverty, right? You're taking your energy back, you're taking your attention back, and you're putting it back on where it was created to go, which is your wealth, your health, your abundance, your union. You're, you're repositioning your energy and where it's, it's supposed to be spent. It's supposed to be invested into. And this is how you cultivate everything it is that you desire. Get clear, where's my energy going? you shore it up, you clean it up, and you refocus it back into what you desire. And as you master this for yourself, and it's done through self-love, right? Applying the mirror exercise, self-love, you will find that you become very fine-tuned and very sensitive down to, you can, you know, like, a, I'm just gonna throw out an example here. You know, right now this video is, um, for manifesting, you know, your wealth and abundance and, and your union and really helping you to refine, oh, you know, where's my consciousness? Like, what am I putting my attention on to? And getting it down into the fine details of life. Like, let's say, you know, um, you don't quite like the way your toothbrush feels in your mouth, right? It's not, maybe you have a, what do they call it? Like those, um, you know, the motor motorized toothbrushes. I cannot like, think what the name, I have, I have my own, right? I have an Oral-B like motorized toothbrush, but let's just say that it doesn't feel right in your mouth and you'd rather have a different design or a different kind, right? That's, um, that's you fine tuning your energy and you're like, hmm, this doesn't feel right. There's something a bit off here. I'm very sensitive to this, right? And then you finding what's suitable for you, what, what fits you. And this is a constant mastery and refinement Toothbrush is just toothbrush is just a random, very random example. All right, <laughs> so it's just to communicate. You know, as you refine and you master yourself in self love, and you're getting very sensitive to where your energy is going, you're going to be able to fine tune all areas of your life by practicing this. All right, and so reassess where your energy is going, and if you don't like 
where it's going, then redirect it. Don't be hard on yourself. That's completely unnecessary. That's what I was saying a little bit ago is don't dip into fear. Be like, oh my God, you know, I got a course correct. Just relax. Just acknowledge it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm spending too much time focused on separation. Let me move through my feelings about that. Bring myself back into my state of union that I know is true in my heart. You know that. When you let all the mind chatter go, you know the truth in your heart that your union is inevitable. It's already yours. It's a guarantee. Relax into that. Let that be your home base. Same with your wealth and abundance. Logically, we know as divine children, right? God created us as wealthy, abundant, perfect health, all of the beautiful things. We are naturally wealthy, right? Being, being with that truth moving through the feelings if you're not experiencing that, but pointing yourself back, that's your home base, your abundance, right? This is how you cultivate the life that you desire, all right? So love yourself through the process, continue to refine and master yourself, reach out if you need support. As I said before, I'm a coach, I'm happy to help you. And uh, don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.